From being imprisoned for raping his wife to recently being unmasked as Graham's killer, uh, Pierce Harris's evil knows no bounds. Now the Emmerdale villain is about to come face to face with his traumatised ex, Rona. But will his plan to win her back end in tragedy? Uh, just a warning before we remind you of the story so far. It's quite distressing in places. Please get out of my way, Pierce. You're not no. leaving me! You can't! No, no, no! no. 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 Please get off of me! Pierce didn't hit me. You said he raped me. I'm arresting you on suspicion of rape. How do you find the defendants? Guilty. Yes. No. Pierce is up for parole. Pierce is out. He was released weeks ago. He's after me. You think I'm here to punish her? No. I am here to put things right. Very soon, I'll have Rona back. You'll observe to your purpose, and your work here will be done. Now, as the drama in the Dales comes to a head, please welcome Jonathan Ray Rather and Zoe Henry. <laughs> Both smiling. I know. <laughs> Doesn't happen often. <laughs> Such an incredibly powerful storyline that the, the two of you have been involved with. It must make a big difference. Obviously, the, the two of you get on. You're, you're very close, and you're able to to work through. Are we? Yes. Oh, we are. Yes, we are. you are. You are. You are very good friends. How how does how does it work? Obviously, when you're piecing together a storyline like this, because it's so important that you get it right. Mm. It is. We have a responsibility. We've just yeah. been talking about this in the dressing room about how soap reflects real life yeah. and the issues and the stories that we tell people have been through. So yes. if we get it wrong, you know, we offend a lot of people, we upset a lot of people. Um, but, yeah, we diffuse the situation at work by having a lot of fun between takes and sort of taking the pressure off ourselves because it's, it's pretty hard going, yeah. can be. But you do. You do feel that responsibility to get it right. Mm. So you do your own research, but mm -hmm. also we have... Um, Folk who can help us out with that yeah. as well, to some degree. But, it, I mean, obviously you're, you're focusing on getting it right so that you don't upset people, but you're also helping a lot of people. Have you had good feedback from, from women, for example, who have been in similar situations? Yeah, we had yeah. quite a lot initially, sort of three years ago, unbelievably, when we did the rape storyline. Mm. Um, and through Women's Aid, through rape crisis, people getting in touch, yeah. they say they often have a spike of reports after storylines like that go out, which... It's so humbling and you can't yeah. quite believe you're hearing it, but, yeah, that's the, the side of soap that I really uh, I admire and I like, that it can make a difference and it can give people confidence. That's yes. what we, we yeah. found, to speak up and go, yeah, yeah but... that, that's happening to me, that, that coercive mm. control. That... Yeah, and it's testament to the writing and the storylining yes. because we were allowed, that story was allowed to breathe somewhat. So yes, which is people... so important. It I think needs so. to happen layer upon layer. Yeah, mm -hmm. because it, it kind of happened, I've said this before, in, in real time. So, yeah. you know, audiences, uh, viewers were able to invest in the relationship Relationship. So when it started turning sour and there was there were little elements and clues of um, coercive behaviour, then it just escalates and escalates. This is reality, and some yeah. people mm. think. So, so in the story, what's happening with Pierce and Rona now? Where are they at now? Well, yeah. uh, he was up for parole, which Rona sort of knew about, but in the sort of horrendous situation of her boyfriend being murdered has forgotten all about it and she doesn't know that Graham has deleted a message saying Pierce is out. Right. So uh, he's on the loose. Oh. <laughs> and and you, you said that to, to your character, there's an almost a logic behind what he's doing. Now, to the outside yeah. world, it, it's the actions of a, of a madman, but yeah. to him, it's actually... He doesn't see it that way. No, that's true. I think if you um, elicit kind of sociopathic or psychopathic behaviour, there's yes. always an excuse you can always justify... Absolutely. ..something, and people in... Um, you know, perpetrators of coercive behaviour, etc., can somehow uh, find an excuse for what they do, and yeah. then they can be remorseful. They can, you know, one minute be very hard. They want to believe what they want to believe. Yes. And Pierce certainly feels like he's on a crusade to rescue Rona. Yeah, I think from he's going to save her, doesn't he? Graham. Yeah. yeah. So... It's true. In so many stalking cases that you, that you, you know, come to court. And there are loads of examples of uh, men stalking women and the mm. men think they're doing them a favour. Yeah. Yeah. In their right. head, they absolutely think those women have got yeah. to be rescued mm -hmm. from whatever person yeah. they now, are. Now, we, we do have a little clip that we're going to show now and I do need to warn viewers at home, it's got a little bit of a jump in it, mm. so just brace yourself. You came. 
gosh. <laughs> Give you a <laughs> <laughs> yeah. She even warned me and I still don't. I, I kind of feel sorry for you. I love your character, oh, by the way. Thank you. But I feel sorry for you because you've not had it very... <laughs> you've not had much luck with Don't move, like Emmerdale. But, you're still <laughs> awful. You, know, but you, you seem to... Don't take this the wrong way, but you've gone through a lot of them. Yeah. But they all seem to turn... One way you know, you've got no, Paddy, you've got yeah. Marlon, you've got Graham. She makes got... bad choices. Mm. Graham wasn't a particularly good he choice, because no. there was a dark side to yeah. him. Yeah, she's... Maybe she'll just be single for a bit. I think that's <laughs> a really good idea. Can um, I ask you about your allotment? Yes, of course. <laughs> Is it true you grow all your own vegetables? Pretty much, yeah. So yeah. from about... Johnny will testify to this, yeah. he stays with us when he films and eats all the produce. From about May through to mm, end of September... Where is the allotment? Much, it's opposite our house. <laughs> so, yeah, in Look Yorkshire. That. And it's, wow. that it? it's that one. Oh, my no, goodness. Oh, that is it. Yeah. Yes, wow. yes. Oh, my Fantastic. goodness. That's a good day. Look at oh, that. Oh, I can... I can talk to you for hours about Well, I've got vegetables. a ripped poly, poly tunnel if you want to help me with that at the moment because of the storms. Well, but... my garden's just been dug up so I can't grow any vegetables at all at the moment because I, the builders are there. But I, and I miss my vegetables. Yeah, you do. It's very therapeutic, mm. how do you, it? How do you unwind? Uh, I don't have a vegetable garden or a garden. <laughs> Fortunately, um, well, actually, we were talking about this. I, I find it, I kind of don't really get much time to unwind. He's got Why little not? ones, mm. so. Do you yeah. get work to unwind? Yeah. yeah. I mean, when you've I... got little ones, it's well, easier to work. They? They're uh, three and four. Oh. Although Otis is nearly five. Oh. Yeah. yeah. So work so is your nice. relaxation, really. Do you know what? Yeah. It is, and I always say this. I say going to work is kind of, um, a yeah, relaxation. Yeah. It's a rest, because you're yeah. with adults, mainly, and, you you know, your, your time is your own, mm. and the choices you make are your own. You're not at the behest of anyone. And, yeah. you know, they can be wearing if you've got that day in, day out. Well, Didn't it is you have wearing. to keep your return to the show, like, massive secret? Yeah. Yeah. Well, he knew it before was... anybody. <laughs> and so we got coded scripts. Nobody was told anything. It was top secret. Only yeah. the people upstairs knew. Yeah. And I'd started to piece stuff together. I was like, this is not... Uh, what is this? I know something's <laughs> not right here. Yeah. And but I had knows? an alias in script, so I, I was called Mark TBA. Oh. And actually, even after a few weeks shooting, we uh, half the cast didn't even know I was there. He wasn't really? allowed in the county. No, I had to use he the was, side please entrance. Please tell them what they asked you to, how they asked you to tell them to work. <laughs> yeah. Well, I was initially asked... I thought this was a joke, and then there was no laughter at the other end of the phone. <laughs> uh, I was asked, uh, do you think you could come in in a motorcycle helmet? <laughs> and I went... <laughs> I know, my reaction as well. Uh, and then there was nothing. Oh, re you mean... You really oh, mean that? <laughs> uh, I mean, I do actually ride a motorcycle anyway, so I suppose it was um, founded in something. But... Yeah. Um, uh, Best kept yeah, secret, I it think. It was, it was amazing. amazing. But I didn't take it entirely seriously until we actually got there and um, yeah, I realised how serious it was. And it was great that we did it and it <laughs> yeah. paid off and it was a bit of fun. And so amazing, it it managed surprise, to keep yeah. it secret yeah. for so yeah. long. Astonishing, we were really thrilled. Thank you both so much for You're coming welcome. in for and sharing your stories Thank with us. You. Thank you so much. <laughs>